Never. Napolitano Never. emotion. <laughs> the courtroom talk. I love it. It is the worst of the worst. A new study ranks the worst attorneys general for business across the country. Who's sitting at the top of the list, or should we say at the bottom of the barrel? Let's ask the man who conducted the study, Hans Bader, from the Competitive Enterprise Institute. Hans, welcome to the program. Who is the worst attorney general for business in the United States? The worst attorney general for business in America, there are six of them. Jerry Brown of California, Richard Blumenthal of Connecticut, Drew Edmondson of Oklahoma, Patrick Lynch of Rhode Island, Daryl McGraw of West Virginia, and William Sorrell of Vermont. What characteristic do they all have that makes you say these are the worst of the worst for business? Thank you, my friend. They, uh, use, lawsuits to trans they use lawsuits to transfer billions of dollars of wealth from businesses and consumers to, to, to their wealthy trial lawyer pals and their political cronies. Hmm. Jerry Brown, now why is he the worst? Well, he's the worst because he not only did that, but he welshes on the essential duty of a state attorney general to defend state law. Jerry Brown once argued that one provision of the California Constitution violated that very Constitution, which is absurd because a Constitution can't violate itself. What has, Richard, to what has Richard Blumenthal done in Connecticut? He is attorney general there, and he's running for the Senate seat in, in November. What's he done that's so bad? Well, he orchestrated a tobacco settlement under which wealthy trial lawyers got $15 billion. Not million, $15 billion. And it was essentially funded by uh, imposing a tax on every carton of cigarettes sold in America so that the smokers, the very people he claimed were deceived by the big tobacco companies, ended up paying for the settlement to enrich his wealthy trial lawyer pals. Let's be clear here, are there any Republicans in the six uh, that you mentioned as the worst attorneys general? No, not in the six. If I'd made 15 or had a much longer report, there probably would have been. Are you uh, perhaps a little politically biased here? No, I used four neutral factors for rating the attorneys general. I looked at whether they had ethical breaches, selective applications of the law, whether they'd fabricated the law, whether they'd usurped legislative powers or attempted to unconstitutionally regulate conduct in other states, and whether they engaged in predatory practices. And I let the chips fall where they may. All I right. did not engage in any, any type of political bias in rating them. All right, Hans Bader, thank you very much for joining us. We appreciate the information. Thank you, sir.